Hello, it's your boy from 1996, Robert episode of Low Standards. In this episode, we'll be retackling a certain old game I have yet to t um, that I've done before in the last time I've done Operation October, which is, of course, Castlevania The Adventure. I did do the Rebirth game, but I, I did remember playing the Game Boy game a, a long while back. I thought it was a different Castlevania game, but no, this is just the, the first game. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we're playing through the original Castlevania GBA game again. Just because, you know, why not? I decided to go ahead and revisit all the old spooky games again. I should probably do some new ones and specifics, but honestly, eh. I do have a lot of other games that I've yet to actually done on the channel that are of a spooky variety. Because most of them are either PC or just I just don't feel like doing it because, you know, I'll actually get scared. I am not one to really absorb horror and actually do well with it, even if it's shitty, like uh, one of the shovelware games I'm, I want to try out. I didn't play the game in specifics, but you know, even shit, hu like shitty, scary humor is still scary regardless. Humor, horror, I mean, not humor. Wait, hold up. When I get hit, I instantly lose my bon uh, my uh, power ups. That makes no sense. Before I go any further, I gotta go up the secret end point. Oh, no, that's the next stage. Oh, I still got hit by a thing. Oh my god. I have to kill him regardless, because if I don't, that guy's gonna fall around the whole place. No, I don't really need to go ahead and deal with these candles because I don't think you have sub weapons in this game. Oh my god. Okay, so getting hit even once gets rid of your entire upgrade, which makes no sense really if you think about it. Poseidon gets hit in like the first two games, and Trevor gets hit in the first two games, and they don't lose their power up when they get hit. That's kind of a really weird, uh, really weird uh, limitation to character. Um, I don't remember the name of this character in specifics. This particular Belmont's ability is. I understand that most enemies will be die one, two hits, but that's still kind of uh, a stupid thing to uh, implement. I'm just gonna go up here. And get okay. This is the one that has all the secret shit in it. There's a one up in there. Okay, so I can't just fall down in order to. The timer is slow, but um, I honestly I need to really need to remember the name. Maybe I'll put it in the uh, t in the, the description of the Belmont I'm playing as, because I don't actually remember his name. Oh my god. Forget it. I don't want it. That game could be a power-up. There. Dang it. It's just hearts. Hearts are meaningless in this game particularly, because there's no sub-weapons. There's only whip power-up and... Um, Well, now I have my projectile, so that actually makes things a little bit easier to work with. Oh, why didn't I ever thought of that? Just, just hitting downwards, whatever the enemy comes in. So you don't spawn in and, deal, and have to deal with them. Alright, so far so good in terms of going through this whole area. Part. Oh shoot. Okay, that's probably why I didn't ever beat this stage because the way you jump is so terrible. Another 
goes my projectile. It'll make combat a lot more easier. Not spawning here. Go away. Wish I had some wall meat. I don't even know if that's in, in this particular Castlevania game. I did it again. I really need time my jumps. I guess there's a problem with this particular stage. I think with this uh, starting bit. There goes my whip power up. Wait, why is the one spawned there now? They never spawned there the last time I was playing like, in the other part of the times I was still alive. There we go, finally. Oh, okay, that one gave you health. Alright, well that's good to know. Power up. Oh my fucking god, these bats. Ugh. Oh my god. Of course, there's gotta be some way to block yourself from that area. Uh, oh, come on. Oh, you're gonna stay there? That's gonna be annoying. You could keep attacking me if that's the case. Oh great, we got the Ninja Gaiden problems of respawning enemies. Ugh, there we go. Great, if I hit the projectile. Oh my god. Yeah, out here. You know what you're gonna respawn. Okay, it's gonna time my jumps right. Oh my god, we were almost there! I remember someone made a ROM of a better version of this game, which I probably should have done first in a sense. Because this, this this is terrible. Yeah, it will uh, when I record the next time. I apologize, I've been recording a lot, just a lot of stuff has been busy, especially since, you know, unfortunately the date of the video and also lowered the mellow down of the mood. One of my relatives, unfortunately, passed away. Uh, a while back, last uh, during the start of this month. Apparently what happened was is that they unfortunately had gotten a allergic reaction or a serious uh, issue with their body after they recently just had a surgery. So, you know, like, that is really unfortunate. Oh my God. That is really unfortunate to hear. That's why I haven't been, uh, been recording for the, the entirety of the week. I've just been attending the masses for that particular person's passing and it really affected one of my uh, family members because of the passing of that family member oh my god the stage is gonna be forever I just wanted to be done with this and get to at least get to the boss oh my god we're almost there I'll just take the candles first before I go any further, because the bats are going to respawn no matter what. Like, can I just pass through this, or no? Of course. Watch, that bat's going to respawn when I get through this part. What? The bat's not respawning? That makes no sense. Then why have the bat respawn in the first portion of that stage? That's bull. Alright, well... Let me get this candle over here. Oh. Ouch. Ouch. 
Wait, is he getting a health whenever I, I miss? There we go, he's dead. It only took that long just to get through this whole stage. Because that one freaking part. I think I, when I did this before last time, I actually decided to quit full on with just because of the annoyance of jumping. Oh, that's not fair. To spawn all these bats at the start. Okay, well, I guess that's why you got that. But not really the point of getting it if they're going to get you anyways. Simple coin. I'm guessing I was supposed to actually keep that momentum up by keeping the power up. Yeah, this, this game has bad stage design, I gotta admit. Oh, that's not fun. Why does it ricochet? No, don't open your mouth. You're gonna make another ricochet bullet projectile. Oh my freaking... What the fuck are you? Oh, that's not fair. You have sickle hands or boomerangs? Whew. I only have one health. I guess I should have gone up there so that way I can actually get some health. Okay, no secret there. Oh my god, you spawn him here? Please zero. Yeah, at least zero counts as a life. Thank god. This would have been a nightmare if that was the case. Okay, just gonna be careful with the bats. Ah, well, they just stop trying to go for me in specifics. How the fuck do I get that now? Was I supposed to get hit first? If so, that's a poor choice of of game design. Fuck it, just come down here, please. Oh my god. The hitbox is terrible. Alright. Oh, sh oh, I can destroy that. Okay, that's good to know. Should have done that to begin with. Alright, let's not lose the momentum by keeping up with keeping my uh, upgraded whip. Oh my god! These projectiles suck! I'm going up there just to kill the son of a- What? How do I even get hit? No, get away. Okay, so these hearts actually do something. They heal you. That's good to know. Oh, you've got to be shaming me. Get, get me out of here, get me out of here, get me out of here! Why am I jumping? I don't even have enough time to destroy the projectile. <gasps> okay, good. I'm assuming going down there was completely dead. It explains why you can't just fall down. Oh my god. What's the point? No! I'm gonna look up a password because I'm not gonna go through the entirety of stage. Thank god. <laughs> Thank god. Lovely. I love these fucking bats. Like he says, monotonous, like a pet of annoyances. You've got to be. Fuck off. these guys them with their stupid projectiles okay just need to get up here alright stay and move for a second got rid of you Full health back by the time we get down here. Wait for 
the guy to throw his little arm projectile. Ah! Oh, the fact that it goes downwards is stupid. How do you jump that? How do you jump that? Do I just keep spamming jump? Yo, I'm just gonna ignore the bats. Fuck it. Of course I can't because they're gonna go straight for me. What the? Oh, I see. The reason why those ones didn't spawn in is because of too much enemies. Okay, good. That's good to know. Okay, got rid of the projectile. Don't need to get the other coin. So fuck that shit. Ah, uh, there's a delay to throwing that thing because that thing slows me down! Why even have projectiles if they're gonna slow the character down because of their existence? God, the projectiles just love ricocheting. I should just stand still while shooting that, I guess. Not shooting, but whipping. I really need to remember which particular carols. I don't really need a strike in specifics. Okay, there we go. I just gotta keep jumping. Just gotta keep jumping. Just gotta keep jumping. I know I didn't get with the projectile in the process, but I don't care. Ugh! I'm gonna get hit anyways, like it matters. Oh my god. The slowdown is terrible! How long do these fucking projectiles even stay on the sc- Oh my god, this is bull. This is bull. My all standards. My low standards. Get out of here! You stupid agaped mouth. Get me out of here before I get killed by that thing. Hopefully this is the checkpoint. I hope to god this is the checkpoint. Oh my god! They're throwing everything at me, he'll piss me off! Oh. Okay, there we go. Alright, so far so good. I mean, that's a lie if I ever say one, because this is, this is clearly the worst timeline, which is me deciding to play this game again. I think I'm farther, though, than my pro the last time I played this game in specifics. But still, it doesn't really make me happy. <laughs> makes me realize that I regret myself playing this further. Ugh. Oh my god. Castlevania games have always been difficult, and this one really takes the cake. Because the slowdown is in... It's just... It's ridiculous. I was wondering to myself, why did the, the old, like... Classic collection would bring this game back. This game was a nightmare, and it will continue to be a nightmare unless you play the uh, redacted version. I don't even know if they actually fixed this game in specifics when they released the classic Castlevania series of games. Uh, well, so much game, whatever that is, either it's A, a one up, or B, a power up, which I would have gladly taken both. These fucking bats. Can I at least get something good? That was not the way I had to go to. Why did everything got fast all of a sudden? Whatever. Oh my god. Here we go again with this shit. Here we go. Lovely. What? How? Fucking... At least this is the checkpoint. This is the longest bridge ever. Ugh. This, is, this bridge is monotonous. It's just these freaking eye enemies. I don't even 
know if I'm using that word correctly in a sense. Why would you spawn two? That's not fair. Oh my god. You're not supposed to strike them for that reason alone. Okay, that's good to know. Good to know. Good to know. So hitting them is... Why is there two of them? No. Piss off. Explains why they're here in this particular level. I really need to stop striking those things. None of them are gonna have a power up besides the one from earlier ago. Oh my god, I'm so fucking slow! Why is there three? What? Why did I jump? Why am I jumping backwards? That makes no sense. Kill you. Alright, I gotta remember, grab the freaking rope. Going down without the rope is just death. What happens if I go down here, though? Alright, so it's the same thing. Ouch. What the? Why is it just coins now? Okay, so it's different now. Okay, killing that thing first was smarter than having to deal with it with my power up. I think it's just the reach that is more powered rather than the uh, actual um, weapon, unless you get the uh, projectile power up. They're just the same thing. Okay, good. Oh my god, they just keep spawning. Wait, hold up. Ho wait a minute, wait a minute. Am I back on the fucking bridge again? I have to go back? If those candles don't respawn when I get over there, it's clear that I'm going backwards. Which makes no sense. Gameplay-wise, you can confuse the player if you ever go left. Oh my god, I'm going the wrong way. I am back where I started. I'm going back. That is some bull. Oh my god, these eyeballs suck. And the problem is sometimes when I jump, I'm just locked in place. I'm going back down. Shitting me. So it's inevitable that you were only supposed to take right. It's a fucking maze, that's what this is. Okay, good. At least another cross at least somewhat dies at some point. Oh my god. Ugh. I'm gonna die. Okay, now grab onto the dang thing. Don't just fall down like an idiot. Oh, that's not fun. Okay, good. At least if the chicken house doesn't come back because it went off the screen. Oh god. Oh god. Get away from me. Are you getting close to the boss? Hope to god we do. This is monotonous and f as fuck. Oh, boss time. Oh, they gave me full health. That's good. Whoa! Wait. They only took two hits? Why did it only took two hits to kill me? It gave me full health! No. 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 I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. 